Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, and I just finished uh, watching Season 2, Episode 4 of Chucky. Um, originally, I was going to watch it on Sci-Fi Channel, but apparently it got locked, so now I moved on to USA. Great, so I'm actually curious on how I'm going to watch the last two episodes, because I think I just used up a credit, so awesome. Uh, this is probably going to be a short video, because... Um, I didn't really care for this episode, to be honest. I mean, for one, technically Chucky, like, the Chucky that we all know as in the doll Chucky, like, um, he really only bookends the series. Oh, well, sorry, he only bookends this episode, and he does it in, like, a sitcom way, which I think is okay. I mean, I mean, I kind of like the kind of comedic Chucky, because, like, once you think about, like, the whole concept of, like, a killer ginger good guy doll is kind of silly, when you actually think about it but basically the whole story like revolves around like tiffany the kids glenn and glenda and like all these special guest stars that who know jennifer tilly in real life um one of them's named like joey he he was in the sopranos i i don't know one, one of them is named like meg uh oh sorry that that one's actually jennifer tilly's real life sister meg tilly uh, another one is Gina, and I think the last one is Strutter, Studer, I don't know. I don't know, again, I didn't really care that much. Uh, outside of Chucky and Family Guy, like, I've never actually really seen anything that Jennifer Tilly has been in. But, anyway, so, uh, this episode kind of continues, uh, off of, like, sort of the cliffhanger of episode two, where Glenn and Glenda finally show up. And, um, turns out it's son of their birthday, right? Well, so, Tiffany is, like, a little bit dodgy on some of the stuff they ask. Like, uh, Glenda starts asking, um, like, what happened in their past. Like, if they were ever violent, like, why does it feel like they got, like, memory holes? Stuff like that. And they're, and they're referring to, like, um, to what happened in Seed of Chucky, Right, where Glenda lit that one lady on fire at the end of the movie. Or, um, and I think it was also implied that, um, that Tiffany killed that one nanny with, uh, with the, uh, with her own doll. But that's just my guess. But Tiffany's very dodgy with it. And, like, I don't know if, I don't know if this was supposed to be about, like, the playing it up as, like, a sitcom or murder mystery or whatever, but, like, I just felt like the acting, especially in that first segment, uh, just felt a bit flat. And maybe that's just me, I don't know. But Tiffany ends up hiring this improv guy to play a butler, basically, but he's really just there to guard the room that Nika Pierce is in. Um, and... Like, from there, it progresses to, like, Glenn and Glenda uh, decide to plan their own, like, birthday party where they invited, um, they invited Meg, Gina, Joey, and Studer, Stutter, whatever. Um, the whole thing feels uh, a little bit like a soap opera, which, I mean, is probably the main reason why I don't really care for this episode, because, like, I mean, to me, it just didn't really feel like uh, Chucky, and I do... I do give props to Don Mancini for trying uh, some new stuff, and like I, and I probably would have liked it more if Chucky was like actually in this episode, because aside from like the Chucky soul fragment that's in Nika's body, like he's not really in the actual meat of the episode, you know. So things go from one thing to another. Like the butler is found dead, uh, poisoned. So, uh, Tiffany starts panicking, and, uh, she actually plays up as, like, a murder mystery thing in order, like, to keep her cool, which sounds interesting enough, but then, uh, but then it feels like a really rushed version of a murder mystery where, like, the, uh, the guest stars are just fooling around a bit, like, they don't actually, um, they don't actually do any, like, mystery stuff, they're just doing their own thing, really. Um, and, like, again, I'm sorry, but I just can't really bring myself to care about any of these characters. Maybe if I, maybe if I kind of saw these actors, like, in other, uh, in other media, maybe I would. 
but I, I just don't. Uh, there is one thing that I got out of it where, like, Meg is talking with Tiffany, who she thinks is her sister Jennifer, which, uh, by the way, like, it was an interesting concept that, uh, that all these people, like, would feel, like, shunned or abandoned by Jennifer Tilly, well, Tiffany now, uh, ever since, um, ever since uh, her body got taken over, but they don't know that, like, but... Meg mentions, like, oh, well, ever since you did that Chucky movie, like, you've been dodging me for 24 years. And the only thing that I, uh, the only you know, way that I think that will have happened logically in the universe is if, so, if season two of Chucky takes place in 2022, then that means that the, that the movie universe, movie Bride of Chucky, not the actual movie, well, te technically same thing at this point, but the in-universe movie called Bride of Chucky will have taken place in 1998, which meant that it would have been released in the exact same year as the actual events of the whole thing in-universe. And I know it's all convoluted and all that, but like, I'm, I don't know. If, if that's the case, then it kind of feels a little bit tasteless to... I mean, I don't know. In universe, I feel like it would have uh, it would have been tasteless to make a movie based on like the events that happened where like uh, Tiffany and Chucky like killed people at Niagara Falls, and then release a movie about it in the exact same year. Like, I mean, it kind of feels like if somebody decided to make a movie about Columbine in the exact same year that the Columbine massacre happened. Or, hell, I mean, like, even now, like, uh, we just had that Jeffrey Dahmer series get released on Netflix, and there were people who still made an uproar about it, and, like, it's been, like, years, I think possibly decades, since, um, since, uh, that, and, uh, since that whole thing happened, because, like, I mean, some people just, um, I mean, some people just think, uh, it's tasteless, you know? Um, um... Speaking of uh, tasteless, maybe I'm looking too much into this, but there is uh, a little bit of a segment where, like, um, where, like, uh, the butler is just being an asshole. Like, he calls Joey a guido, and he, um, and, like, he starts, uh, questioning, like, Glenn and Glenda's pronouns, that whole thing. I'm not really gonna get into that. What I am going to get into about is how, like, once he dies, uh, Jennifer starts talking about, like, possible motive, and then he said, uh, and then she says something along the lines of, like, well, Glenn and Glenda and you all also have motive uh, to kill him because you guys could have killed him because you were offended by, uh, by him disrespecting uh, my kid's pronouns. I mean... For, I don't know, for a show that's being uh, progressive, it feels a little bit, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm just an outsider looking in, but I feel like it's a little bit weird that, uh, that you would have one of uh, the characters on your show make that kind of implication, Especially when there's, like, videos of that one uh, customer from GameStop screaming, like, it is ma'am, that kind of stuff. And, well, there's people who are trying at, uh, to say, like, well, that video doesn't represent, like, the whole community. And then you go and, <laughs> and then you go and uh, say that kind of stuff in the show. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking too much into that or not. I don't know. Anyway, so... To me, the episode doesn't really pick up that much until, like, until there's a flashback sequence of, um, of Glenn and Glenda, like, meeting Nika for the first time, right? And, um, and through accidentally, yeah, you know, drawing blood on, uh, through Glenn, uh, Glenda accidentally drawing blood, uh, Chucky comes out, talks a bit with, uh, Glenda, that's where, like, they start hatching a plan to get revenge on Tiffany, Right? Well, uh, fast forward uh, back into the present, 
um, Gwen and Glenda are actively trying to help Nika escape from Tiffany. Um, eventually Nika sees, like, another dead body. It's Joey's, by the way, and, uh, Chucky ends up, uh, taking over. Um, Glenda ends up, uh, giving Chucky these, like, robot arms, um, which, I, I mean, at least they explained where the arms came from. Uh, and then Nika and Glenda, like, approach Tiffany and, like, all of the guest stars, uh, and then... Nika, oh, well, Chucky Nika, like, just holds her at gunpoint, tries to kill her, but, like, you know, there's no bullets in the gun, because it's later revealed that, um, that Gina killed Joey with the gun. So, instead, um, so instead, Nika gets control back, and she and Glenda escape out of the house, and, like, um... And blast out on the gate and into um and into like a wheelchair accessible uh, van, which is revealed to be driven uh, by Kyle. So great to know that uh, Kyle survived um, season one. Now, I do think it's a little bit interesting that Glenda and Kyle are actually working together. Uh, maybe it's the whole like uh, enemy of my enemy and all that kind of thing. Because, like, Glenda doesn't like uh, Tiffany. Uh, and, and I'm pretty sure that's because, like, Chucky just manipulated her. Uh, Glenn stays with Tiff. Um, but anyway, so Nika, Glenda, and Kyle, they all kind of drive off, escaping California. Um, and earlier in the episode, like, Nika was talking about how, like, she needs to be someplace safe. I'm really hoping that means that Kyle's going to take them to, like, rendezvous with uh, with Andy. Because I'm still pretty sure that Andy didn't die uh, at the start of uh, Season 2. Um, I will admit that would be a bit interesting for, like, basically Andy to work with Chucky's kids. Uh, I feel like he'd be a little bit distrustful. But, I don't know, maybe it's the same thing with Kyle, like, common enemy and all that. But basically, that's how the episode ended. Like, Nika and Kyle finally meeting up. Glenda joining uh, them. And, like, the three of them, like, just take off. Uh, the kids weren't in uh, this episode at all. So you got no Jake, Devin, or Lexi. Um, which is a shame. Because, like, I was more engaged in their story more. <laughs> um, oh, and to bookend, the, uh, to bookend the show, like, we had Chucky in that sitcom again. With, uh, with, like, a special guest star of Liv Morgan, who's a WWE star, huge fan of Chucky. Um, and basically, like, they just do a bit, uh, and then, like, Chucky just kills her off. Because, uh, Liv said, like, on a podcast that, like, she wanted to be killed by Chucky. So, he kills her while just using, while just using the last remaining fucks that, uh, he could, that the show, uh, that the network allowed him uh, to say um and then he promises like that they'll get back to like the that he'll get back to the kids in the catholic school in the next episode so there's something i'm looking forward to because like this episode i'm sorry it just did not do it for me um but yeah going forward like like i said i really hope that like nika kyle glenda all of the all the kids, like, and Andy, like, they all meet up and, like, they all kind of converge to take down Chucky once and for all. Especially that one scene in the trailer where, like, if you look closely enough, um, you'll notice that, like, that Lexi and Devin are walking through this forest that has, like, all these Chucky heads, like, just mounted on sticks and branches. I'm really hoping that they find either Andy there or, like, they pick up a trail to find Andy. Because, again, like, I seriously doubt that Andy... that Andy died. But, anyway, with that all out of the way, it really looks like uh, they're gearing up for, like, probably an explosive uh, finale, hopefully even better than the first season. So... Uh, with all kind of that, I can't wait to see you know, what the next four episodes have in store for us. 
and in the meantime, uh, in the meantime, I'll probably kind of get cracking on, uh, watching, uh, no, I'm watching Halloween Ends a second time. Anyway, bye everyone.